Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Hapog. This is their Win TV Dual HD Dual Tuner USB. You can check this out on Amazon for the price of about $69. So if you ever wanted to watch live TV or over-the-air signal HD TV on your PC or laptop, you might want to check this one out. We're going to get into it now. <laughs> Okay, so here's the model uh, 1595 of the dual tuner ATSC and clear QAM TV receiver by Hapog. Uh, you can watch one channel while recording another or see picture in picture. You do have that ATSC digital TV. It's free HD TV over the air in North America. Record your uh, shows on your PC in original HD quality and it does have a USB port for install. So taking a look at the system requirements, it does require a PC with a uh, single core 3.0 gigahertz or multi-core 2.0 gigahertz processor, uh, Windows Vista 7, 8, or 10, USB 2.0 or 3 slot for installation, internet connection for the WinTV version 8 application download and software activation. They do give you an activation key. Uh, of course, you're going to get the TV tuner itself. Uh, you're going to get a remote control, a antenna or an antenna, a USB extension cable, and of course, the WinTV version 8 installation and utility software via download with a quick installation guide. So once you open the box, this is what you get. You, of course, you get the TV tuner unit itself, a remote control. You also get an installation guide for Windows. You get a USB cable here. This is an extender in case you want to extend it away from your laptop or your PC, the back of your PC. And the dongle itself is not that big, uh, but in certain situations you may want to use the extension cable. And they give you an HD over-the-air antenna. You can certainly replace this antenna with an amplified antenna that will probably give you access to more channels, but this one does it in a pinch. So they give you three months to Plex, or you can get Plex Pass for three months, which is actually pretty cool. So they give you kind of an insert here uh, that has uh, a code on it that you can redeem for uh, Plex Pass for free for three months, so that's cool. Uh, and they also give you your Win8 installation ID or key as you would have it on another piece of paper, and I've covered up part of that because that one's mine. So anyway, uh, you just got to go to hapog.com to download the application. So cutting the cord was never really that hard. You can get something like this for $69, and we're going to take it into a live demonstration. This uh, is not a big adapter. You've got USB on one side, and where your uh, cable antenna will go in on the other side. Uh, some status lights on the side of it, as you can see here. Uh, it's pretty slim profile for having dual tuners, uh, and works really well. So let's get into uh, the actual review here uh, on the software side. And I'll put all this stuff uh, away and put it back together on my PC and capture some of that so that you guys can check it out. So here we are on my desktop, and the first thing you're going to want to do is go to uh, Hapog's website and download their uh, TV tuner set up here, WinTV 8.5, so we'll have that downloaded. Uh, and it's going to uh, put those two icons on your desktop once you're installed. It's gonna take you into the device setup wizard. It's going to identify your device, which is identified mine here, and uh, give you an option to either do digital ATSC or digital QAM uh, through your cable box. If you have that, you can do that. I do not, I'm going to do uh, over the air with the antenna. And then I am going to click on uh, Next, and it is going to take me to a search page uh, where we can search through uh, channel ranges here, uh, the default being 2 to 51. Or you can enter your zip code and do an internet advanced scan uh, based on your location. If you want to do that, you can. I will fast forward through the scanning portion of this, and then I'll be right back.
Okay, our scanning was complete there. It took about a minute to scan all the channels, and I've got about 30 or 34 channels here that have come up with my antenna. Uh, you know, you get three, and you get, you know, CBS, ABC, uh, a few other channels. Depending on your area, if you're in an urban area or a city, inner city area, where they have a lot of signals, I'm kind of in a suburban area, you're going to get more signals. Uh, than say somebody out in the sticks that doesn't. Uh, once you're done, you click next and then just click uh, next again to start watching TV. And it's going to bring up this window. Uh, and it looks like the football game is on right now. Uh, Philadelphia uh, versus Carolina. So as you can see, we're getting a really good signal on CBS here, uh, channel 3.1, so channel 3. Uh, and I can move this around or double click on it and make it kind of a smaller overlay window. So that if I'm doing work on my computer, PC, if there is any glitching, it may be because of my rendering software here. Also, we are set up uh, by default to record uh, or buffer of 15 minutes. So if I base, so uh, be careful about that. Now, uh, the controls on here are pretty simple. You can capture a snapshot of what's on the screen. You can uh, enable closed captioning. Uh, you can open up files. Uh, you can go to your settings. Uh, so if you want closed captions on or off, you can do that as well. You can record or stop the TV. You can even pause it, uh, pause the live TV if you want to, and then you can start it up. Uh, say you need to go and grab something to drink or something like that, of course you can pause it. And you can do all of this through the remote control as well. You also have navigation for up and down on your controls, so you can sc scroll through your controls. Either right-clicking uh, on the screen itself will also bring this up. You can zoom. You can change your aspect ratio. Uh, you can go to um, you know find channel, and you can find all the channels, a list of all the channels that it found during that initial scan. And I can do a picture-in-picture -picture here, uh, and it'll come up in a separate window. And if you do a uh, picture in picture and then find channel you want to pick one that you know works for some reason that one doesn't and I did not take it off my list I didn't find many channels that did not work but as you can see there is uh, I believe uh, another news channel going on at the same time so as I'm watching the news on one channel I'm watching this commercial or the game on the other channel and then I can always uh, take the picture in picture off by hitting stop there so very very nice uh, overall uh, finding channel again brings up your channel window where you can just scroll through and uh, pick a channel that you would like to watch and uh, switching to it is uh, super simple you just click on it and it will buffer uh, you know what channel you're watching via the top menu there so if I want to watch channel 10 I'll just click on it it'll take a second to buffer and there we go I'm watching channel 10 uh, in HD on my PC uh, so overall, I really, really like this. If you want to get to settings uh, of WinTV version 8.5, you can check for updates here. Uh, click on that little cogwheel on the left-hand side. Uh, you can change your uh, overlay, your video renderer. Uh, you can also change where your recordings are kept, uh, what quality they're kept at, what aspect ratio, uh, and several other things. That buffer size, again, it defaultly is 15 minutes, but if you want to do, say, 30 minutes, and that way you can rewind back you know, 30 minutes from where you're watching, or even an hour, you can do that, or even more. Uh, you've got a few other things here, uh, devices, uh, your channel list, again, uh, are all channels, and you can find, if there's certain that are glitchy or don't work, maybe have a weak signal, you can uncheck those, and then they'll be out of your list. You can also add favorites and manage those, parental controls, uh, some more advanced options in here uh, as well. So overall, you've got a lot of really a nice features to a win tv 8.5 uh, and in my area luckily enough you know i get about 30 channels uh, and they all pretty much seem to work there's one or two that kind of glitch and maybe have a weak signal so a stronger antenna would actually help me there uh, again pausing uh, i can pause this and resume it whenever i'd like so we're going to pause it now and take it back to the end of the review so there's my review of the WinTV Dual HD USB TV Tuner by Hapog. 
you can check it out on Amazon for, again for about $69. And if you want to cut the cord from cable and you're just interested in your local channels, you can get them over the air in HD for free on your laptop or your PC so you don't even need a TV. This is a great deal and I was pretty impressed with this product. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. Uh, remember to like and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe because that always helps me out and I'll check you guys out on the next video.